Hey everybody, it's Jen. Sorry, I'm a little harder to understand than usual um, because I have a cold, but uh, I wanted to check in with you before we got started on the exam because that's our first big graded thing. Um, so I've been going through and updating the grades on each of these assignments and you should be seeing credit coming up on there. If you're still seeing dashes when you go to check your grades, that just means I haven't gotten to updating that yet. If you see a zero, that's when you should worry. Um, contact me if you see a zero and you're sure that you've done that assignment because, you know, I just may have typed in the wrong number or I might not have noticed or something else may have gone wrong, so get in touch with me. Um, and you can always make up assignments, so if you say, oh no, I've got a zero on subtraction, I guess I forgot to do subtraction, um, go back and do it and I'll catch it on my next read through of all of the Khan Academy assignments and you'll get credit for it later. So you can catch up on any of these assignments all the way up until the first exam. And the first exam starts today, actually. You can start anytime today. And to take the exam, you just need to go to the testing center in Center 456, or if you're out at Cottage Grove, uh, into the testing center there. Um, and take a photo ID, driver's license is fine, know your L number and the PIN to log into Moodle, and make sure you know the name of our class, Math 10, and my name, which is Jen Kepka, K-E-P-K-A, or you can take the CRN for the class like you registered for. And once you get into the testing center, they're going to let you log into exam number one right there, and they'll provide you with scratch paper, uh, so you should bring along a pen or a pencil and the reason that you're gonna want scratch paper is the whole test is online but as you're working out the problems on the test I mean a you need scratch paper because it's good to get into the habit of working out your problems but also um, on some of the problems so let's say you do a multi-step multiplication problem like 382 times 45 and somewhere along the way just for like half a second you get a little mixed up and you say, okay, five times three is 14 instead of 15. Um, so you'll get the problem wrong on the test because the answer won't come out correctly. But on that scratch paper, you have labeled, here's problem five, here's the work I did. That scratch paper comes back to me. I look at it, I go, oh, okay. I see this student actually, you know, their multiplication skills are fine. They just had a momentary mistake they didn't add correctly they didn't do something in this one step so then you get partial credit for that problem which is better than zero credit because um, what I'm really concerned about is that you're learning the math process not that you're absolutely getting the perfect answer every single time so do use the scratch paper turn it in at the end label the problems as you're going through make sure your name is on it um, and then after the first exam, you'll have the option to meet with me either in person or online and go back over the exam and any questions you've missed. And I'll assign extra credit to anybody who does a post-exam one conference with me <clears throat> so that uh, you can get even more credit back for that first exam. Because I really am more interested in seeing that you're learning and moving ahead than I am in just making sure everybody checks off the box and get ex gets exam one done. Uh, before you get to exam one though, you need to finish all of these exercises, so at least five in a row correct on Khan Academy, and then you should have already completed the first quiz. Uh, the second quiz opened up today and you should complete it before you take the practice exam or the exam. So complete the second quiz at home and there's a practice for it first, then the quiz itself. And then right here is a glossary where you can write um, a term for exam one. The directions are available when you click on it. So this is a good way to review terminology because you'll need that for the exam. you got to know what a quotient is, what a product, all these different things. So you can pick any of these words and go down here and define them. And a couple of your classmates are already ahead of you. Yay! So that's great. And you can use this to review for the exam as well. 
Um, and then there is a practice exam. I feel like it's easiest to print the practice exam out and work it on paper, but you can do it however you'd like. And then any questions or comments you have about that practice exam, say number five was really difficult for me, or I didn't understand where the answer came from on number 11, or can somebody show me a different method, uh, post those comments and questions there. I think the forums are working again. They told us unofficially they're working again on Moodle, so when you post there, I should see it come through. Your classmates should see your question come through. Um, you can drop in, answer questions, and yeah. Uh, this is a video explaining number 18, which is one that many people find difficult on the practice exam, but it will show up, something similar to it will show up on the uh, real exam, so good to review that one. If for any reason, if you've fallen behind, and you're worried you're not going to be able to take the exam before next Thursday, the 29th, get in touch with me and I can do some uh, changes to that schedule. I can extend it out a little um, if you need it. The testing center is also open on Saturday. They have Saturday hours. Uh, you can check their website. Just go to the Lane homepage and search Social Science Testing Center. It's also linked up at the top of our Moodle page. And you can see their hours right now. I believe it's 9 to 1 on Saturdays, but check on that for sure. They change their hours a little bit every week, depending on how many people they have to work. Um, so if you have questions, you should email me, or send me a message over Moodle, or send me a text message, or give me a call. Um, yeah, good luck on the first exam, and I look forward to talking with you after it's over.